Hey, how's it going? And today I am excited. I got to find a new line to start out with. <laughs> you get used to saying the same thing over and over again. I'm moderately excited. I'm uh, happy, happy to bring this tutorial on importing the wall portal from Lyra into a blank project. And this is kind of the scavenger hunt thing of we're gonna go into other assets and grab what we can and bring it into our own projects. And that way we don't have to build things from scratch. In my particular case, I was looking for a portal. I wanted one that looked kind of cool. Why not get the one from Lyra if it'll work? So I'm gonna show you what, how I did it, and how we get it set up. So I just did a tutorial about importing animations and I was getting all kinds of errors when I went from the Lyra. Let me just show you what I got here. Okay, so in my Unreal projects, I've got a blank project here, which is a first person template and it's just called my project. And then I have the Lyra starter game content. So I have both of those running right now. So there's the Lyra starter game and there's my blank project. So that's what's up right now. So I wanna take assets from here, from the Lyra starter game, and put them into my project. Both have to be up and running kind of to get that going. So actually this doesn't have to be running, this does at least, but then I gotta open that anyway. So how we're gonna do this is we're just gonna go into the Lyra starter game and where it says effects, we're just gonna copy this whole folder. Now we're going from 5.2 into 5.2. So in a previous tutorial, I said go from 5.0 to 5.0 and then upgrade the 5.0 project to 5.2 to get the animations. For these assets, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go straight from 5.2 to 5.2 and you're gonna see we're gonna get into trouble. We're gonna get all kinds of errors. Not all the dependencies that we need get loaded in. And so not every asset that we import over is gonna work, but we're just gonna go ahead and grab what we can. So we'll grab what works. So all we gotta do is with the effects folder selected, right click and go migrate. It will load in all the dependencies. And then I just gotta pick my project folder here, content folder, and just go, okay. Now it's gonna start migrating everything and you're gonna see I'm gonna get a ton of errors come up. I don't know, this is a complex program and there's a lot of strings attached to things and not all the strings come in. So you'll see we get all this errors and it looked like I said, it looked like it was going 200 miles an hour past a school zone or something. But anyway, I'm just gonna clear that out because there's, we're not gonna worry about all those errors. It just means we didn't get a lot of things that we hoped to get. So. That's okay, because we did get what we want to get. <laughs> so with that done, I can just close out of this Lyra starter project. Then what I can do is just jump into my project here, and you'll see there is our effects folder. And this is what's cool, is that we can start commandeering some of these assets. So to find them, we could just go type in ns underscore, and then it bring up all of our Niagara system effects. And if we look here, we should see one called wall portals. See that one? And if we double click into it, double click into it, we can see it. Now I noticed it shows it's not compiled and I do see a, a warning down here, but then it, it compiled automatically. So I do get a warning, but I am not gonna worry about that warning because it looks like it's working. So we're gonna go ahead and drag this onto the scene and this is just a super cool effect. So if I hit play, you'll see it come into the game here. Look, there's my portal. Now let me escape out of this. Let me reposition this in a little bit better position. So let me just move it up against one of these outside walls. And I'm gonna hit alt here and turn a little bit so I can see a little better. I'll hit the space bar and we'll just rotate it this way, 90 degrees, hitting the space bar and then we'll just push it back against the wall here. Now what's cool about this particular effect is that I can come get my gun and then let's say, I gotta get out of here. Well, look at this portal I got. Can I go right through it? Well, I can't go right through it because it's got a solid wall behind it. But I mean, if I get rid of this wall, but it's a cool, I mean, it's a really cool looking portal. It's got those particles kind of going into it. It's got that beam that kind of goes down the corner. And I believe this is all just a material. 
some of this effect that background effect is just a material effect which is just really cool how long would that take you to make yourself i don't know probably a while but look i've got my portal now of course i can't go through this right now so what i'm going to do if i was working on a game is i would just click this wall behind it and then i could go i'll be able to go through it because it's just a plane what i would do ideally is go into another level so i would just transfer i'd put a trigger box there and then I've got that. Now, that's all I really wanted to show you today was just how to get this portal in. But while we're here, real quick, I'll show you. If there's one here, let me see. So what you can do on these other effects is just click into them and see if you got any errors. And if you don't, you should be able to use the effect in your game. Let's look at this grenade explosion one just real quick. We're getting some warnings here, but it compiles so it's it'll work and this is a really nifty effect this grenade one so drag that onto the scene that's a really nice explosion and so you can trigger this to play well i guess you gotta do it on begin play let me move it over here so we can see it but if we can just solve that error i'll look into solving that error so there's no warnings at all but look what well, it's it's got to be in the direction I'm facing. So let me drag it on here. But look at this effect. So look. It's a nice effect. Really nice. So it comes in working. So all these you potentially can use. You can go and explore each one. And if you happen to figure out before I do how to get rid of those warnings, that makes it even better. Some of these effects have no warnings at all. So if we search again, N underscore, oops, underscore. I guess it gotta be in the content folder. If we click into this one, this effect here, this gun, gun pad one, that little swirly deal has no errors at all. So this effect is, I would say, good to go and game ready. You can put that in there and you get that little swirly thing. There's one, I think this is the gun pad. Let's double click into that real fast too. It's compiling no errors. So this is the effect that I was saying that we could use for, I did a teleportation effect. So if we hit play, look, we could use this as the teleportation effect. So we just bring that asset in and then this teleportation thing. This could be our teleporter. So that's what I think is neat about these assets is that they can all be repurposed. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.